Sir, you can turn and face me, perfect, you can face the audience. What I want you to do is, uh, what is your name, huh? Tanika, what's yours? Jerry. Give it up for Jerry and Tanika, everybody. Give it a big round of applause. <laughs> Tanika, you're already awesome. I can tell. All I want you to do is just to close your eyes, all right? And don't worry, honey, I'm not going to hypnotize you, all right? I am a magician. I do Twix, all right? What's going to happen is I want you to keep your eyes closed the entire time, all right? Do not open your eyes. Do not speak unless spoken to. I want you to be aware of your senses. Tanika, I want you to be aware of all your senses, all right? Just, all I, I don't want, I want you to be aware of where it happens, all right, and how many times, all right? I don't want you to move or say anything, all right? Just be aware of where it happens and how many times, all right? So you can just stand there. All right. Don't hit me, Tanika, jeez. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right there, you felt, do you feel that there? What did you feel exactly? Yeah, what did you feel, Tink? What did you feel? What? How many times? Twice. Oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> That's all right, huh? We're not done yet, all right? I want you to relax your body. Do not move. Do not say anything. Relax and be aware of all the your sense. Don't worry. This is me, all right? It's not a ghost, all right? But I want you to be aware of the slightest senses. You were doing so good, Tanika. You really couldn't be doing any better, all right? Just be relaxed, all right? This didn't work. Here, watch. You could... Did you feel anything there? Yeah. Here? Relax, arms straight. Mm -hmm. Right there. what did you feel? Did you feel? What did you feel? Yeah, whoop broke me right there. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> you lost your mind, Sneaky. <laughs> Listen, open, look at me, look at me. I never touched you. No, I was touching him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want you to do now is I want this to happen, all right? I need you guys. I, I'm actually looking for the greatest liar. Who's a great liar? He's so, he's so ready. He's like, I'm a fantastic liar. I need a, you're a great, I need a, I need, I actually need someone, if this goes wrong, I'm in a lot of trouble. Did you? Are you a great liar? No. Yes. No. You, but you said you were. You like, y'all oh, come with I me. I need you up here. That'll be fantastic. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll take your hand, huh? All right. I need a great liar for this next one. All right, what's going to happen is this. I have a spike here. Actually, let me, everyone has one of these. I'm just going to use this one. Um, <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, what I want you to do is I just want you to uh, write one on that cup nice and big. And we're just going to go label them one through four. There's one and then two. You're perfect at this. And three. Perfect. And four. All right. This is going to be fantastic because I picked someone a little older that way. This is going to be really crazy. Can you check that? It's a real heavy spike right there. Um, it is very sharp, right? I don't know if you felt the, the tip, but it's very, very sharp. Right? You wanna, you wanna know, check that out for me? Just make sure really fast. You can hold the whole thing. Just, I just wanna make sure everything's real, it doesn't. Yeah. All right, it's a very solid steel spike. Can you hold on that just for a second? All right. What's gonna happen is, um. oh yeah, and don't worry, I sanitize that. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 
I'm just, come on, it's still here. It's not a big deal. Um, listen, what's going to happen? This is going to be amazing. What I want you to... What I want from you is I'm going to turn around, all right? These bases are real. There is nothing. You can check any exam and anything out that you want. These cups are from the dollar store, <laughs> all right? You're going to put that spike in one of these bases, all right? I'm going to be turned around. Then you're going to take the numbers. You can mix the numbers up, but make sure the audience can see them and lay them over top of the spikes and, and the, the bases, all right? I'm going to turn. Is there anything in my ear? Nothing there telling me anything? Nope. Nothing. All right, I'm going to turn around, close my eyes. Yes, place it in any base. My head is down, eyes are closed, and place the cups over with the numbers facing forward. Now everyone can see exactly where the spike is, all right? And you tell me when you're ready? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Awesome. I want the audience to remain quiet during this whole segment, all right? And I want you, basically, this is where it gets crazy. You place it under one of these cups here. And the thing about this is, is that if, if I ask you, say I ask you, is is the spike under cup number whatever one I, I it's always you're always gonna say no, okay. no matter what. <laughs> Otherwise, it will ruin the trick. And you guys remain silent. She's gonna look me dead in the eye. I can already tell she's good at this. It's not good. Because what I'm gonna do is try to get inside of your mind. <laughs> I'm gonna tell whether you're lying through your actions and your movements, all right? And maybe your eyes or your pupil, whatever, all right? I'm gonna figure it out. And um, so I'm gonna ask you, we're gonna start this, and I, uh, this is always, this is a new trick, so it's very diff. Just to let you know, a lot of magicians have ruined this trick and they have impaled their hands. It happens a lot. And the weird thing about it is they're always in control. They put the spike in like a bag or under something, but you did everything. This is a very risky, this is the highest risk trick to do, all right? You were totally in control, I had no control. I'm gonna ask you, is the spike on the cup number four? I think she's really good at this, uh, all right, I trust you. on the cup number two. No. All right, I trust you. This gets scary and scary every time. Is the spike on the cup number one? show you guys something. I actually have those little balls of light still. They are crazy. You can do everything with them. And they're actually not little balls of light. They're my thumbs. Oh. Whatever. You just take your thumbs off. You just slide it on like this. And if you pinch them, you can do this. It's that simple. Look, you can even play monkey in the middle with your brother or sister and they'll never be able to get it. Isn't that great? It's fantastic. Sometimes me and my sound guy, Tommy, will just go outside in the front here and throw them back and forth to each other just to watch the people go, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. It's hilarious. If you guys want to pair the red veil with the magic shop, if you want to mess with people's minds, it's completely hilarious. But oh man. Tommy, you back there blowing up a ball? That's great. <laughs> yes! Listen, this is going to be really cool because uh, with magic, I've been doing this forever. And when I watch the magicians on television, I know what they're doing right away, of course. I know even though if the talk show host is signing two duplicate cards and they're cheating, I'm like, that's not fair. 
So um, there, I, I want to show you guys a card trick I, I created about a year and a half ago. And I think it's one of the greatest card tricks in the world. And I thought you guys might like to see that. And uh, yes, and there's no way that I can set this up because um, I have an idea. Tommy, my sound guy, is gonna throw a volleyball in the audience. As the music's playing, you guys get to play volleyball. And whenever the music stops, whoever has the ball, just place it in your lap and just hang on for a bit. Let's do it.